Welcome ladies and gentlemen to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna be going over how I passed the AWS Solution Architect certification in three weeks. Now, if you wanna add in the cloud practitioner time, then I guess in total it was about a month and a week. Um, but um, I went over in another video how I passed the cloud practitioner exam in two weeks. I just needed probably about additional three weeks to pass this one, um, but I cannot say it was easy. So I will be going over the resources that I used and my approach to passing that exam in three weeks. Like I said, I did pass the cloud practitioner exam. It took me about two weeks of studying and I went over that in another video. I'll leave a link somewhere on the screen. But um, yeah, I passed that in about two weeks and the Solution Architect was definitely a different approach. So reading from the source, the Solution Architect certification showcases knowledge and skills in AWS technology across a wide range of AWS services. The focus of the certification is on the design and cost performance, optimized solutions, demonstrating a strong understanding of AWS well-architected framework, and the certification um, can enhance the career profile and earnings of a certified individual. Now that's really dependent on the person and you know where they apply, but this is the description that AWS provides uh, when it comes to the solution architect certification. Simply put, it is a certification that tests whether you're able to provide um, efficient solutions using AWS certification. That's how I, I, I view the certification. It tests on whether you're able to use the services in a um, an efficient manner to build up solutions on problems in everyday usage in companies and wherever you're gonna use uh, these AWS services. So the, the approach of studying for the exam was different compared to the cloud practitioner approach. Cloud practitioner, I feel like it was just knowing definitions of what services are. And for solution architect, it's really knowing how to use those services in real life use, use cases. Uh, so that's why the approach for studying this was a little bit different. Now my goal when studying for this exam was to use as many free resources as possible. I didn't want to spend a dime um, to pass this exam. Um, that's always been my goal for any certification that I take. Like I, um, I was actually able to get a voucher for my job to actually take the exam. I know not everybody's blessed to have the opportunity. Um, so that's what I'm saying. Like, you don't have to take three weeks to study for this. Take as long as you can. But in my case, I, you know, I had a restricted amount of time. So, um, you know, three weeks is the, the limit that I put on myself. Um, but I try to take advantage of as many free resources as possible. So the first thing that I did was take advantage of a video that I found on Free Code Camp. Um, and I did the same approach for the cloud practitioner exam, which uh, free um, or exam pro offered a a free comprehensive AWS uh, tutorial for each certification for cloud practitioner and as well as a new solution architect. So I watched the solution architect um, series, which was 10 hours. I watched about an hour per day for about two weeks. Um, same approach that I did for cloud practitioner. Um, and I'll leave a link in the description uh, for that solution architect video but I watch it out per day. If I didn't understand anything, then I reverse back and I review it. And I did that for until the end. Um, I took advantage of the free exams that they were providing. Well, not exams, just one exam. Um, but that's really all I needed from that. And um, like I said, if I didn't understand anything, then I go back and um, the cool thing about the video is that he goes over everything that he does and he describes the reason why that he's using it. Now, the difference between the Solution Architect certification, like I said, and the Cloud Practitioner is that you have to know the reason why you're using a specific service. It's not just like, okay, this is S3, um, this is S3, um, this is blah, blah, blah. You have to know the reason why you're using it. Like they give use cases, they give scenarios, and you have to provide, um, or they, they provide multiple choice options, and you select the solution as an architect um, on why you would choose that approach and why it's the most efficient approach to take. Um, so that's the reason why to um, supplement these videos, I took advantage of Quizlets. So Quizlets is pretty much a website that provides um, like pretty much like virtual flashcards of answer of questions and answers. Um, so you will have the front part like you can, like it will be in a flat flashcard format. So you can go to you know, each individual questions one by one. And you look at the question and you know you click on it and it flips and it shows you the answer. Um, so I feel like these Quizlet questions were very similar to what would, was being offered on the certification. Uh, so I took advantage of that. 
um, it, these Quizlets provided like many different scenarios um, of, of ways that you can use the services in different areas and I feel like that would be useful and that was useful for the exam and I'll leave a link in the description of the Quizlet uh, flashcards that I used to study for the exam is about 300 questions I, I usually try to do about you know 30 a day um, some days it, if, I, if I'm busy I might have to do like 25 if I'm not that busy then I'll do 50 but I'll just keep doing them over and over and over again until I fully understand um, each individual question and lastly I took advantage of AWS documentation I'm all about just like I said all about free resources so if I'm watching the videos if I'm watching or if I'm going through the Quizlets um, and I don't understand anything then I just go to the AWS documentation and look for the service um, or I go to the website the actual AWS website and actually try to you know do exactly what I don't understand right so if I don't understand how to make an EC2 instance then I go in uh, try to connect the subnet to EC2 instance uh, but make sure that you you know don't like fully go like do it because you may have to pay for specific services but I try to um, use as many things as possible as long as it's free um, in AWS and try to find the latest documentation because like I said in my cloud practitioner exam some of these AWS blogs are old or the information is old so you have to make sure that you find the most recent documentation or you're gonna be using old information which is which is bad um, so make sure that you have the most up-to-date documentation you're doing the um, the information and you understand why these AWS services you know do what they do so those are the things that I did to pass the solution architect uh, certification in three weeks like I said don't feel rushed to pass it in three weeks don't feel any pressure like I said I was kind of pressuring or rushing myself because I, I was you know for my job I was you know getting ready to start a new project so I wanted to get that out of the way uh, so that I can just focus on the project and not the certification so I just gave myself a deadline of three weeks some people will take two months some people need longer some people need shorter it really is dependent on how comfortable you are if you feel like you're you're understanding everything you, you can answer all the quickly questions you can you know answer all the practice questions you know the services and their use cases then go ahead and take the exam for me I'm like okay I'm getting this free this free voucher for my job uh, I'm gonna study hard and you know I'm not gonna let that voucher go to waste but don't feel rushed don't feel pressured calm down study up take the exam and and don't feel like you have to just use free resources if you feel like you need more information um, another thing that I know people use is a site called cloud gurus I believe it's about $35 per month and it's a way or it's an interactive way of studying for this the AWS exam I know it comes with labs and it shows like how to do specific things so I never used it but I just heard cloud gurus is good um, I believe it's thirty-five dollars a month, and none of the things that I'm recommending in this um, in this video is, you know, I'm sponsored by. It's just things that I've used or I heard were very useful. So um, take your time, study up. Um, but that's just how I passed the Solution Architect certification in three weeks. Good luck.